Let's have another example. I want to be the very best. Ash saw a flying Charizard upon, above him and decided to throw a Pokeball vertically upward from the roof of a tall building. The Pokeball leaves his hand at a point even with the roof reeling with an upward speed, speed of 15 meters per second. The Pokeball that is now in free fall did not hit the flying Charizard. On its way back down, it just misses the reeling. Find A. The ball's position and velocity one second after leaving your hand, letter B, the maximum height reached, and letter C, the ball's acceleration when it is at its maximum height. Okay, let me uh, think of the how you approach the problem, maybe for a minute or two, uh, we will solve this problem today. Okay. Okay, so let's resume. Um, check natin kung paano natin isasolve yung problem na to. Again, we have Ash uh, throwing a Pokeball up, vertically upward, therefore, uh, with some initial velocity. And in that case, so and then may Pokeball ka, tapos in increase natin, so positive y ito. In that case, we have some initial velocity v not equals 15.0 meters per second. Note here that we are now using y as our coordinate, not x, because we are talking about the vertical direction. Kanina sa uniform accelerated motion, we are talking of x. Now we are talking of y. X tapos y. Ouch. Uh, okay lang yan. <laughs> so yon. Letter A. Determine the ball's position and velocity one second after leaving your hand. So, what is the position in that case? So, paano mahanap yung position? Given ang time at saka initial velocity. So, V0 is given. And um, the time is given. Ano pa yung given? What's, what's the other given? Ano pa yung nawawala? Nawawala yeah. yung X. X not. Hindi siya. X dot is given, and it's assumed to be zero. Uh, yes. Ano pa yung nawawala? Acceleration. Uh, the acceleration is what? 9.8. We will assume that it's in free folder for the acceleration. Should be in A equals 9.80. Um, I'm using 9.81 in this particular solution. But when you do your FQs, use 9.80. Uh, nagawa ko na kasi 9.81. Eh. So, medyo min minor... Ano lang naman yan, downward. Okay? So here. So what is the um, the position at after one second? So what is the position at time t equals 1.0 second? So ano yan? Na? The position time. Use the position, position time correctly. Time. Position time with the assumption that the acceleration becomes negative g. So you have y naught plus v naught t minus one half g t squared. Okay, so the y not there is zero. The initial velocity is not zero, but and we can substitute here. So this is just 11 point, uh, sorry, 15. This is 15 meters per second multiplied by t, which is 1.0 second minus one half times 9.81 meters per second squared times t, which is one second ulet quantity squared. And we get y at t equals 1.0 second is about 10.1 meters, okay? What about the velocity at t equals one second? Paano mahanapin yan? No? Velocity time. Yes, we will use the velocity time equation, which is v naught minus gt, which is just equal to 15 meters per second minus 9.81 meters per second squared multiplied by one second. And we get here v, at t equals 1.0 second is about 5.19 meters per second. Okay, questions? May tanong? None so far. None. So letter B, well, how do we determine the maximum height? How do we determine the maximum height? Actually, may masadaling way. Ano yung condition? Anong gagamitin mo? Ay, sorry. Anong condition para maging maximum height ang isang uh, ang particle? Your velocity equals zero. The velocity at the maximum height is zero. So it's so since it, the particle changes its direction, so dadaan dapat ang zero yan. Positive velocity, zero. Negative velocity. Therefore, my vy there should be equal to zero. Huwag kakalimutan na at the maximum height, the final velocity vanishes. Therefore, um, since wala ka namang time na given, time is not given, of course, what you can do is to determine time, pero additional burden sa inyo yun. Time is not given. What can you do? Anong gagamitin mo? Position, velocity. We will use our velocity 
position. So we have by squared equals, uh, uh, sorry, b squared na lang yan. b squared equals b naught squared minus 2g quantity y minus y naught. Uh, this is what we want. This is the maximum height h. So let's say this is h. V not, uh, wait lang, di pa pala tapos. At, at y minus y not equals h, which is the maximum height, v equals zero. Thus, ano yun? h is therefore equal, h equals what? So this becomes zero. We have v not squared over 2g, which is what, which is equal to what? About 11.47 meters. This is what we want. Okay? And then letter C. What is the acceleration dun sa maximum height? Dapat, it should be the same. Wag, wag, this is a conceptual question. Marami nagkakamali dyan. Hindi porket zero ang velocity ay zero ng acceleration. It can still be um, finite. Uh, some quantity. Some non-zero quantity. And, it, and exactly, at any given point in the trajectory of the poker ball, the acceleration is the same, which is g, which is 9.81 meters per second squared downward. So, the acceleration here is g. Okay? Questions? Questions? May tanong? And so far. <laughs> 